I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accarda. What's Eddie, up, buddy? We are back. Yeah, baby. And we got another powerful, powerful episode in front of us. We have a guest on today, Eddie, that you know, and we had his podcast partner on oh, yeah. a while back, yeah, yeah. Ray, and we thought- Very funny we, podcast. Very funny podcast. Love it. Why not get this dude? Get the team. You know, why yeah. not get the team in? <laughs> <laughs> From the Troublemakers Podcast, please give it up for the very, very funny Dylan Krasinski. Dylan, what's what up? Show, brother? Craziest day job. Oh, we get right into it. Right, dude. dude I like yeah. that. Uh, dude, I've had a lot of, you know, I've had a lot of crazy jobs, I guess. Weird jobs. Yeah. But nothing like, you know, I, uh, I, I mean, I'll get into this, I'm sure, but I'm a, also a lawyer. Oh, uh, shit. And I worked as a Mar- prosecutor. Maritime law? This always blows my mind. My, my, <laughs> yeah, you, you always forget, time law, really. Every you time forget. you say I'm a lawyer, I'm like, that is insane. <laughs> where, yeah. are you, where have you passed a bar? What states? What? Uh, Massachusetts and New York. Wow. Yeah. And, and then they say Ar- California's the hardest, right? The uh, hardest I don't know if it's the hardest, but it's like, uh, it's three days. Mm. So it's, the, it, and also I think they say it's the hardest because it has the lowest pass rate. But oh. you don't have to go to law school. Like Kim Kardashian oh. took the bar oh. and was trying to be a lawyer. She kept failing the bar and then gave up on yeah. it. But you yeah. know, why be a lawyer when you have a billion dollars? Yeah, you know, you could just sell a sex tape. Who fucking cares? Just so you what are you doing? She should just pay somebody like in that episode of Sopranos <laughs> where uh, Christopher Moltisanti paid that Asian guy to take the um, stockbroker's exam. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he could short that stock. <laughs> Oh, I fucking love that chat, dude. <laughs> That's what I would do if I was a billionaire. Like, can I pay an Asian guy to take this test for me? Oh, absolutely, dude. I mean, why not? Sneak me in here. Let's do it. <laughs> why not? Um, but my craziest job, I, I would say my worst job, my worst job that I've had, and I'm thankful for it because it like drove me into going to law school. Uh, it was I was doing landscaping oh, yeah. for my uncle's company. My uncle owns a tree care company, uh-huh. and I was like looking for a job. I remember, dude. Going into senior year, I was of college, and I was like, dude, I, I got to get an internship. And all my friends were getting internships, like accounting, oh. finance. Dude, I got turned down <laughs> from so you, everywhere. Some people dude. just start at landscaping. You had to go to college, <laughs> and then you get to landscaping. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, you of didn't college. have the structure to even be a landscaper. <laughs> I had no experience. Four years of college to learn how to sit in the back of a truck. <laughs> Do you know why? I got turned down from an internship at Enterprise Rental Car. <laughs> and then I was like, wow, well, I guess I got to do landscaping this summer. I mean, you know. You know, it's funny because we've been in Enterprise Rental Cars kind of places like at 4 a.m. Like we had car breakdowns on the road before. Yeah. And to see the fuckers that they give those jobs to. And you couldn't, <laughs> yeah, I know. You couldn't even get an internship. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what are they looking at? They're looking at him like, he's going to steal one of these cars. <laughs> he's he's going to sleep in one of these cars. He's going to shit in one of these cars. He's going to bang some chicken in there. Like, I don't know. Got now, dude. I remember I wore a suit. I'm much better interviewing with women than I am with men. Oh. And I interviewed with a lady at Enterprise up in Albany. And yeah. then I was like, Well, I, I live on Long Island in the summer. Is like, she's like, Oh, I'll connect you with someone down there. And I went on this interview, and the dude just couldn't give a fuck <laughs> oh, about man. me. He, I walked in just like a fucking chubby, beardless virgin. And he was like, Yeah, we don't. I, I mean, we really hire virgins here. I wanted a hot intern, dude. I wanted a hot college sorority chick. And here you are talking about. Uh, he's like two delusional guys. One guy thinks he's going to get some hot chick to intern at Enterprise. Dude. From FSC, yeah. some bottle service chicks. Yeah. Come. And then there's you, like, I'm going to put this suit on and I'm going to be a professional. Yeah. No resume. It's, it's a note card you hand him. Oh my God. Beer slam as he's walking in, like, it's going to go great. Oh. I was like, hi, I'm here for the interview. And he was I like, I was referred uh, by Sheila from Albany. Yeah. Dude, so I remember, I fucking. Bombed! I like bombed that interview, and then I didn't get the job. And I was like, "Fuck! I gotta." All my friends are, you know, crushing it at their accounting internships. Oh, and I was like, "Yeah." Is like, that what, what your you major do? was? Accounting? No, I was an English major. Oh, dude, I was also <laughs> straight to enterprise. I was also. <laughs> you conjugate this verb has to be back before noon on Wednesday. <laughs> Can you just proofread these? <laughs> I remember, dude. I was so delusional at the time. I was an English major, thinking I was gonna work in finance 
Uh, oh, wow. I was going on these interviews, wow. and I was like, well, I go to a liberal arts school, and you know, I had this line. Oh, I'd, go, out. You're out. I'd go, you know, the big thing about liberal arts is they don't teach you what to learn. They teach you how to learn. So I'm... <laughs> Let me wax poetic on you, sir. I'm a learner, you know, and I'm a worker. So wow. I'm the guy you want to hire because I'm going to bust my butt for you. And Bro, they didn't get one be, job. <laughs> Dude, with that line, though, you should be selling you used cars. I know. I know. So, or good. a politician, like a local yeah. councilman. I should be. Dude, you talk to my mom. My, my mom tells me, she's like, Dylan, you could do much more than comedy. Yeah. And, uh, isn't that funny? Like people now in comedy have like uh, a chance at a future bef before they got into it. Oh yeah. Before every guy I met was like, "Well, you know, I was addicted to this, and then I found stand up, or I was homeless, and then yeah. found stand up. Now it's like, oh, I was a law student, and then I just <laughs> yeah. loved improv, and I just yeah. decided to get into it. Yeah, it's it's a different world now. I know. Like, you can legit be you. Are, you have a law degree. Yeah. You, pa you have you pass the bar, so yeah. you are licensed to practice law. That's politician and, city. And what kind of? I know. <laughs> Dude, him as a politician. <laughs> I'd be great, dude. Are you kidding me? I can't wait to get to the meat of I'd what you drain what the real, swamp, baby. What your real problems are. Trump, Trump, <laughs> Trump. I'd come in there real hard. I'd be like, let's get him the fuck out of here. Bro, you should do it, dude. I you, we, I you know, we had Chris Fago on. Yeah, Fager, he, he runs we can start for, our own little cabinet here. He, run, he runs for city council, and he just does it for material, for bits. Really? Dude, <laughs> dude I, I should like run for like a story, something. a local <laughs> government. Yo, yeah, I, I, I'll run with you. Let me be Dude, it would be great. Yeah. Uh, I got the I'll bring my kid He's friends with all the Slovakia truck guys So I got If I get them Then you know I got the Greek vote Dude that, That's huge And then you got like uh, You get permits We could start oh, running everything. Running everything. shows Yeah I'll be yeah, corrupt I can do whatever I want yes. I mean What's the point of going to politics If you're not I'm gonna fucking get running. A little gravy I'm, out of it In two years I'm running I'm trying to wait Till everyone has Like their dick pics out there So it's not like <laughs> I got too much Dick pic yeah, Situation But, yeah, yeah, but yeah. once everyone has that out Then it's like Ah <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, no one cares. It'll leave the news cycle pretty quick. I just got to get some space. Yeah. Oh. I think I can run when I'm about 50. <laughs> Dude, by the time... I'm just waiting for these dick pics to clear, and it's going to be good. I got to wait for the <laughs> dick pics to clear, get this bankruptcy off my uh, credit report. Dude, <laughs> in 20 years, in 20 years, if you don't have a dick pic as a politician, people will be like, Were what you, you really a living? nerd? Yeah. What are you, Were nerd? Really trying to be into politics if you didn't have a dick pic? It's like when Obama was like, of course I inhaled. It's like, yeah. 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 Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, that was the move do. for sure. Isn't yeah. that funny? We were there 12, like what, 15, 16 years ago, and now we're at I raped her. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did an alien. I totally yeah. raped her. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's not they just let you do that. They just let you rape people around here. And then, uh, and then the Democrats make a big deal out of it, but nothing ever happens. So, whatever. I mean, literally, that's where we're at. You that's could rape insane. somebody it's and insane. just have the Democrats hashtag you and everything and still never go to jail. Yeah. Crazy world we live no, in. Yeah, it's supposed to be all these consequences, and really, there's none. <laughs> no, there's if you no got money, you're good. You're as golden. long as you're cool with people being shady to you on the internet, you could really do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, you just ignore it. Yeah, I like that guy. Who's the guy from uh, Long Island that just lied his way in? <laughs> oh, oh dude. yeah, that dude, Santos. Santos. Yes, George and Santos. And then he went on cameo. See, this is the problem. How can I respect my own industry now, knowing that? Is he Everything booked? I've ever wanted is a hot booked <laughs> on cameo. Santa's, Santa's. He, probably, he probably made because people just send in. If, if you're OK with people taking a shit on you yeah. and you just being like, fuck it, I'll take your money. Uh -huh. And they think they're getting one over on you by making you say, like, I'm a fat queer who lied kind of shit. Like they make him say <laughs> awful stuff about himself. Uh -huh. And he does it. He probably made 100K a month. I would oh, not wow. doubt it. Oh, if wow. not more. At the yeah. height of his wow. shittiness. Like being infamous is almost better than being. Right. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If that. you're well, infamous, that's, that's the like Hawk to a girl I mean, literally got to the Dude, it's yeah. crazy. Hawk to a girl got everything I wanted in stand up. I've been working for what 18 years now. She got it in 30 seconds. That's why not. <laughs> why am I doing this, dude? You know who I feel the most bad for is the dudes who run that like Instagram I don't, channel. That Drewski guy still makes tons of Drewski? money. No, was it, it wasn't. Drewski Drewski no, oh. no, dude, racist. Uh, <laughs> there was a black There's guy, another right? black, black guy, guy yeah. with dip in his mouth. Isn't that Drewski? Uh, Drewski is he? I think he's like British. No, oh, oh, or no, I mean, he's not I, British, but he hangs with all the British okay. black I, dudes. I, I can't even catch up anymore with all these guys. Any, but I'm out of my element. Yeah. yeah, no, but those dudes, I saw a New York Times article and they were like, we, we'd like a little credit. No, but I love how like, yeah, I exploited you. Can I get credit for exploiting yeah, you? I yeah, mean, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. ask some cute little white girl about blowjob. Because that's a new thing now. Like, that's the, I, I'm a big 
X guy now because I feel like a lot of stuff comes through X that's awful. Oh, like, dude. Awful trends, right? And everything about her and everything about this trend of skinny white girls is Snow Bunny. Mm-hmm. It's because all these girls are like fucking black dudes now. And it's like a Snow Bunny thing. So the minute you can kind of like hit all those marks, skinny blonde little white girl in her under 25 years old talking about sucking a cock, hashtag Snow Bunny, viral. Wow, I didn't viral. know that. Oh my god. That. If you type in Snow Bunny into X, you will see every like uh, Corinna Cops. All these clips. <laughs> <Snow> <laughs> <Bunny>. <laughs> every every OnlyFans girl that is famous, it comes up Snow Bunny. Snow Bunny. Wow. Because huh. it's like ever since blacked that but porn genre blacked, it's where it's every girl's like this. The girl you would see, the hot white chick, is banging the biggest black guy you can find. They made a whole genre of that. Uh-huh. Ever since that, it got the Snow Bunny hashtag it's on. It's been around a long time, though. No. But not, I'm yeah. talking about the marketing package. It was called Everything's been around for forever. a long time. It was uh, just to, Yeah, they just used to call it. Long Girls being in, the first porn I ever saw, I was a kid and I stole it from my grandfather's uh, safe. Uh-huh. Safe? And he left his safe open wow. and I stole it. And it had work tape on it. Work? Work tape. It was a hidden name, right? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. And I popped it in. It's like all the files, the it folder on my like desktop. The se- it's like the work. 70s. Yeah. <laughs> and it was called Blacks on Blondes. Uh huh. So wow. it's always been a genre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's wow. what I'm saying. It's always, it's always, been, a always been a genre. But yeah, yeah. the marketing package bush. is different now. So that's what I'm saying. If you type, if you can find a way to market that kind of shit. You're gonna make. We should get a girl on here and put Ed in blackface. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's like at some point, no, it's dude, like, ah, why not? <laughs> why not? You know, what, what's, what's gonna happen? Fuck anymore. There's man. a picture fuck floating fuck around you. of a ten year old me dressed up as Mr. T for Halloween. <laughs> Full blackface. Well, hey, you did yeah. crusty, you did full clown face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went to a college with a kid uh, where we Halloween, we went to the bar and he did the Robert Downey Jr. from oh, uh, uh, dude, Tropic Thunder. Oh, wow. Tropic Thunder. Yeah. But dude, he fucking blackface and now he, he came out as like gay and he's like super woke and I, I want to uh, be like, let's, let's I remember, <laughs> dude. I, got to I remember. Yeah, I got to <laughs> this this whole like, ele- like I I voted Democrat like last seven elections, right? And I'm still leaning towards that way, but it is so hilarious now. Stuff like that comes up and I'm like, I grew up in a I grew up in a neighborhood where it was like 45% black. So all like I was like, like a yeah. rare white dude in my neighborhood. None of those dudes cared about white people wearing blackface. Yeah. <laughs> they would just rip on them. They would dude, just shit all over them. Dude, so I remember 10-year-old me in the Halloween store, my mom's buying the the face cream, the cream to put on my face. <laughs> And um, <laughs> my mom's ordering the black, uh, black cream, <laughs> and two black women behind her go, no, 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 you want to yeah. use Creole, yeah. And they're like, that's the wrong, that's too dark. They know about skin tones, yeah, and how all to that. Match. Yeah, yeah. And it was like not a big deal, but I mean, it's I'm white so, people. I'm certainly not going to are... post that picture on Instagram no, no. <laughs> because <laughs> every, back Thursday, because <laughs> every ten year old upper, dude, happy dressed, Halloween, dressed as Mr. T, because you would piss <laughs> off every upper middle class. To rich snowflake. Oh, I thought you were gonna say snow bunny. No, oh, that's they what love it. That. Snow, <laughs> He's gonna snow, be in his car. Snow type bunny. Snow bunny in. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be on the train back, just like, oh, wow. I gotta get home right now. Soon. Hey, soon. Turned it's, on. It's a good. It's a good. It's a good search. Dude, I have a friend. I have a friend uh, who we posted a clip like two years ago about blackface, mm-hmm. and she texted me and she was like I need to call you right now and I was like what's up and she was like dude that clip you posted when I was like eight years old her parents are like from Poland so like oh, yeah. immigrant parents like mm-hmm. don't Especially know Polish. American yeah, yeah, yeah. culture you know sure. so they had this like history event at school where everybody got <laughs> dressed up like a certain historical figure and this white blonde girl at like nine years old gets Rosa Parks so <laughs> She goes home and she's like, Dad, I got to dress up as Rosa Parks. She, he fucking gets the dress, paints her whole face black, sends her to school. He gets over. She was like, they immediately threw me out of the school. They oh. were like, you got to leave. They called the dad and was like. And the dad what? showed up dressed like Ralph Cramden. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, back on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> what a pull. Oh, my God. Yeah, the dad I know, he was like, what do you mean? Hey, she can't, she's Rosa Parks. <laughs> Otherwise, get up, get up, Rosa! Get up, get up, He's like, without the face paint, she just looks like Martha Washington. 
Oh, oh man. man. What's so, so yeah. what is the craziest job? So the oh. landscape. Yeah, the so landscape. My, that was my worst job. We'll get, yeah, get back into yeah. it. I like the little tangents, you know? I like that. <laughs> That's how we it's start right Having away. a fun time. <laughs> good. Um, yeah, that was my worst job, dude. I, I remember I was like, hey, uh, can I work with you guys? And my uncle's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my cousin worked there also. He was going to college for like. His uh, kid. Yeah, uh-huh. and he was going to school for like to take over. Yeah, the it was business, a summer like, job. Arbor. You, it was your future. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, I gotta. <laughs> I mean, if you got turned down gig. by Enterprise Rental, and somewhere else didn't give you an intern, and now you're doing landscape, you must be yeah. thinking, so me, this is it. Yeah, <laughs> this is yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I wanted to know too. Like, how many jobs have have you had at that point? Like, so you're probably like twenty. Uh, after yeah, college. I was like twenty one, probably uh-huh. going into yeah. senior year. And um, at that point, I had had a couple jobs. My dad is in construction. He's a custom woodworker. So I worked with him from so, a young age. So you've been on you job know. sites before. Yeah, stuff I've like been that. on yeah, job okay. sites. I know business. how to work yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you're a great learner. I'm a great learner. <laughs> I don't know what to learn. I know how to learn. You know? <laughs> You yeah, don't have to I'm tell dyslexic me how and that to confused learn. me. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember I go first day. This is what sucked. Both of my uncles worked there, and I just got stuck on a crew with a bunch of dudes who didn't speak English. Oh. I remember the first week they would not talk to me. Yeah. Spanish? Like, we, yeah. We would have lunch, and they would just like sit. You know, we're up. I'm up at 5 a.m. Oh, right, to yeah, get yeah. to the shop by yep. like 6, and we're out. We yeah. go. And I remember that whole summer. Because it's a big it enough brutal. business where everyone has their own crew they work with. Yeah, it was okay. like it was like you know they'd have like four trucks or yeah. something. Yeah, so like four that. different jobs doing and different you're stuck things. With three guys. Yeah, that- my cousin would do a lot of like the spraying, and then oh. I would get stuck like on the fertilizing, the like yeah. plants and like, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, spray the trees uh-huh. to like help with the bugs or whatever. I don't really know. I didn't yeah. pay attention. Uh, it just goes against my how to learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I would just get stuck on these crews, and then dude, this is what was great. They were like. Oh, this is like a white guy, the our boss's nephew, he sucks. And then I like they saw I work hard. Yeah. So I would like fucking ca- they would be like, "Hey, take these logs like out to the front, we're going to chip them." And I would just like throw them on my wow. back and like hoof it up a up a hill and just dripping sweat and oh, dying. Yeah. And they then they started like yeah. respecting me. That's how. Uh, you, yeah. you that's get, why it was great. Yeah, that's yeah. how you get respect from the working class. Well, the a, minute people see you hustle, they, yeah. that's a thing, man. They Especially when it's like a like a family member yeah. coming in, you're yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You think he's just gonna you're yeah. gonna just Fucking coast kid. it and yeah. take the paycheck. Um, but yeah, that was a crazy. I remember like one day we were working, it was like 102 degrees, and we're spreading mulch with. Where it. is this? It was Long Island. Oh, so we're from dude, Long Island. Yeah, okay. I'm from Long Island. And so this is the worst part, dude. This was like it's like a high end landscaping service in like Nassau County, like near Oyster Bay. A lot of money. So it's a lot of money. All these homes. And I remember spreading mulch at these like multi multi million dollar properties. Properties. Like guys got golf holes in the backyard, yeah, yeah. you know, pools. And I was like, dude, I cannot fucking do this again. And I that I would like decided, like dude, I remember it was like Why, 102. It made you feel bad about working for rich people? Or or? No, I was just like, dude, I got to do something else because I can't do this for the rest of Still my fucking life. Fucking breaking your back. Yeah. Oh, like yeah, I remember it was 102 degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're spreading mulch. I went under. I was like dying. I was like collapsing almost uh we were working all day and i like went under this tree it, like this pine tree that had like the opening in it you know and no one could see me and i just like sat down like spreading mulch yeah. i was like i need a break and i was like i gotta go to law school i gotta go to law school dude i cannot do this for the next 30 years i got addicted to this uh these clips where landscapers go and cut yeah, lawns that mm-hmm. are like out of like people abandoned house. SB mowing. It, I, That's uh, the one, dude. I yeah. love him. Tim's lawn care. Who? There's another they Nathan lawn, lawn lawnmower man. Nathan. But aren't they like fake? Isn't that like Some, a well, manufactured kind of thing? Because I've been doing a lot of this stuff because <clears> I'm trying to, you know, it's like our industry. We have to know, like, oh, how are people marketing videos and getting people to watch them, right? No, thank you. And uh, they do this thing where they always have to create. This is kind of a callback to what we were just talking about. A conflict. So every one of those videos is, it, that comes out yeah, now, it's that's like what I'm a cop was, they called a cop on me. Yeah, yeah, my neighbor yeah. is yelling at me. But yeah. the ones that are, like there are two Mexican dudes who wear, they don't have, they have like plain, they always wear the same plain color shirt with no insignia on it. And they have like a bandito mask over their face and they just go in and just two man crew fucks shit up. They'll find like, there's a 
Someone buried somebody back here. Like they'll find the craziest wow. shit. Uh, but cool. they have that lawnmower that can mow trees down, basically yeah. that are growing uh, from the ground. Yeah. And I get obsessed with that shit. But that's the cool. job is no. <laughs> oh, it's Joe. No job. Like, can you, ever, you imagine being famous for that though? You could go work a club right now. Is uh, oh my god, I Dylan know. the lawnmower. lawnmower yeah, but I man. just started like just went back to lawn, lawn care <laughs> and just like really <laughs> dug in. I get a, a I mean, million Instagram getting, followers. One point five million yeah. views, impressions. You're I'm telling like, me by you the can't way, sell fifty I also do stand up at night. That's where we're at. I know. That's where we're at. It's crazy, yeah. dude. Did you ever so, fuck anybody's uh, like property up? Uh, landscaping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but one time, dude, we were uh, we were doing this job. We were cutting trees down or whatever at this one rich, super rich person's uh-huh. house. And uh, the lady, I guess, we're, it's like 9 a.m., which mm-hmm. I get it's early, yeah. but it's like on a Wednesday. And uh, the two dudes are up in the tree, and I'm on the bottom like just pulling brush, you know? And they're, you know, two Spanish dudes. I'm the white guy there. And this lady comes out and just starts freaking the fuck out. She was like, "Get! I'm calling the police. You guys. So maybe that is a real thing. People like you're trespassing. Oh. And we're like, I was, I'm looking at them. I, they're yeah. got years of experience. They're laughing. They're sitting in the tree. They're like, dude, now you, you're white. This is, this is, this is, this is why we got you here, This buddy. is why you're here. <laughs> this is where you shine, Dylan. <laughs> so I had to call my uncle and I was like, hey, uh. It was a bit of an incident at the uh, job site. I was like, this lady, I don't know if she's like hungover or she's like whatever, but she just fucking screamed at us t- telling us she's going to call the police. And he's like, all right, I'll come over. And then like, you know, the dude, the guy comes home, like the husband uh-huh. eventually is like, I'm so sorry. Like my wife has been going through some things. And oh, they weird. were that weekend. They were renewing their vows in the backyard. Uh, for like having a wedding ceremony, and that's when you were there to cut the. Yeah, we were there to like trim the tree nice, or whatever, yeah. make it. But nice. so he didn't tell her that some guys were coming over to take I, care of the trees. I mean, I don't or know. Or she just a lunatic. I guess she was a lunatic. I mean, dude. I yeah. love that. You sure you want to go through with this, pal? Yeah, dude, that's what I said. Hey, I was uh, like, this is yeah. crazy. You're renewing this. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a nuts one. Um, yeah, but that was like I had one where because uh, d- I've done some some of that stuff. But a buddy of mine had a. Um, a power washer this is back in like oh, we and we used to, we used to go and we he's like because my cousin had a landscaping thing and yeah. then he also had like a power washing thing and i learned from him i'm like yeah dude you can get one of these power washers and you can just go around and get jobs so me and my buddy my buddy bought one from his truck he was like our rich friend he bought he bought one for his truck and i was like yo dude we can make some money with this thing <laughs> so we start going around and we're booking jobs to clean people's back when everybody had that aluminum oh, siding my oh god, god. my dad one time set one of our aluminum siding on fire because he uh, got it was too high and he was barbecuing and, <laughs> and it was one of those barbecues where the lid comes off yeah and he had lifted the lid off and didn't realize how high the flames were and it and he walked away <laughs> oh my he was god. you know when you smoke meth like you start oh, doing yeah, a project yeah. and, you yeah. forget what you're doing. Yeah, right, right, right. and i walked out and i was smelling like the smell you know chemicals yeah the f- whole aluminum siding was like, <laughs> oh my god, just bl- <laughs> just black. <laughs> I'm putting it out with the handle. I'm like trying to get him up out of his bathroom. <laughs> This guy has fucking grilled chicken everywhere. <laughs> what you doing? You almost burned the fucking aluminum house down. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> and he's like, "Has that is that chicken?" And for don't- years it was yeah. like that. I mean, <laughs> the whole oh, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even. He fix never it. fixed it. He just yeah, let yeah, it be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's like the house that just always has Tyvek on. Oh, yeah. And you're like, what are you gonna put the siding up? <laughs> Come on. Dude, we had a storm and I almost blew the fence down. He left. You know, you ever seen like a kid who's scared to pull his tooth out and the tooth's just dangling from like a <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. thread that was our fence because he was too methed out to like fix it <laughs> what do you he, mean i don't understand the, so the we had a was, so the fence was getting old wooden fence wooden fence uh-huh and san diego like had a huge storm and the the, the fence was so already the, the planks are blowing well, the, in the, the wind the worst part is it was the side <laughs> fence and there was like um we were on a hill like an embankment okay and the that was the only thing blocking people from walking up the embankment into the yard. And the thing at one point had just become... Oh, so you could just step over? Oh, you just <laughs> literally hop over it. It was like the, the wrestling friends. ropes of the wrestling ring. Yeah, like you yeah, yeah. pull it down. I had and Andre like, the Giant yeah, over the yeah, fucking yeah. thing. Hey, you fucking trash bag. Yeah, dude. Oh, we were low Oh, life. totally. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so How awful. many people are walking in your yard that you have a, oh, a no, fence They knew protecting. who lived there. No yeah. one's oh. coming. They just, they knew like, that's a problem. Okay. That guy's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> he was so loud too. He gets so one time he left the he came he used to gamble for thirty six hours straight. He would get super high 
and he'd be gone. God damn. And I'm like, my brother and sister are there, so I'm home with my brother and sister. And one night, I hear something, and I, I'm sure it's him, but I'm like, whatever, fuck it. I get up, 5 a.m., there's like banging on the door. I open the door, it's the cops. My dad is passed out. He had, so he broke the garage door. <laughs> So that, no, the, the button didn't work to open it, so mm -hmm. you had to open it manually. This mm -hmm. is a thing that should be able to open yeah, the thing, yeah. but he broke it and refuses to fix it. So you open it manually. He had opened the, he was so high, he'd parked the car, <laughs> opened the door. His radio is blaring Earth, Wind, and Fire. Like, it's fucking blaring. <laughs> the whole neighborhood, it's like September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Do you Just, remember? Oh, God, the whole Gratitude album is Great blaring. Song. Great and he, song. <laughs> he, oh, the door's open to the car. It's parked in the driveway, still running. He had opened the garage, walked in, fell asleep. <laughs> and someone in the neighborhood called the cops. Holy shit. And they're like, is this your car out here? I'm like, yeah. So I got to get in the car, pull it in. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, this dude's God. on another level of shit. Oh, damn. God he was on damn, another dude. level of like, don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's Holy wild. shit. Yeah. I had another bad job. My most embarrassing job was I was a handyman during college, and uh, you know, <laughs> for Task Rabbit, a handyman. I have the I have the experience now. My senior year, this is after my I had experience. The, had the experience. <laughs> I was. Uh, I gave him my resume, and I was like. That, you know, you need some. My buddy was like, "Hey, this guy I know, he needs some like land cleared. Do you want to do it?" So, dude, I would go there for like two hours on Saturday, and he was like, "All right, we want this area. I just want to clear this area out. It's like fucking trees." I show up, he's like, "I got like clippers and a rake, oh. dude." I went there like five Saturdays in a row. By the time I left, it looked the same. Like <laughs> nothing. I have the tools. <laughs> Dude, I was just like raking leaves in the woods <laughs> and the guy cutting down like little trees. And I was like, I need a saw for that. I need a saw for that. Dude, the guy just paid me like two hundred dollars over like a month and a half to just just stand around hang out, <laughs> just show up hungover and be like, ah, sorry, man, I'm late. We were late night bag. last night. I would, I would show up 10 to 12 and just like rake the leaves. Brutal. Hey, did you ruin somebody's house? The power washer is at the point oh, of yes, the story. We yeah. went to uh, we went to this lady's house, and um, she was real. She was so sweet. She's like, I love to help. I love what you guys are doing. I saw your ad and the penny saver. She was so oh, this was legit, so Damn, supportive. And then we took down. We're we're spraying it. And we knocked her gutter off. <laughs> Those things are so powerful. Dude, we knocked her gutter. Those things like get the like, skin off your, the your body. The gutter just like came flawing at us. And Liam's like, dude, get the, get the truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, what are you gonna do? We're not. Hey, we're not gutter repair men. We are power washing men. You need well, to call someone else. I'm sorry. Go. We just fucking ran, dude. <laughs> just dragging that thing on the wheels behind you. Change the name of the business the next day. You're like, we gotta fucking go underground. Change the LLC. <laughs> call the penny saver. Stat. Yeah, we need to cancel that, pull that ad. ad. Pull the ad. Yeah, pull it. Yeah, not pull it. You still got two days left. No, 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 no pull it. Yeah, no, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're fine. So how long were you? lawyer before you started doing stand-up uh i started doing stand-up like my i did like two or three open mics during law school okay and then right when i graduated i started working that's when i started like kind of getting into it yeah. and i was doing it's so stand up funny like to me every night that people that go through law school then is me immediately as they get done law school they're like okay something else yeah right <laughs> yeah. i have so many i have know so many people that have done law yeah. school and then they're just like Instead of just okay, you did all the hard work. Go be a now lawyer. Just live. Well, no. it doesn't end. I, yeah. I have a lot of lawyer friends and, and some that are like doing pretty well, um, and they they don't. One, lawyers and therapists are the freakiest people I've ever had sex with. <laughs> oh, there's something about lawyers and therapists specifically, and registered nurses. And registered nurses, nurses, I've heard. Hashtags, registered hashtags lawyers are nobody. Nobody. seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody. <laughs> Hashtags registered nobody. nurses are He's in blackface some of the, the whole time. <laughs> and I think the <laughs> I think the trend is the stress. Yeah, and I can like see that. And like what yeah, you're yeah. carrying. Oh, like right. lawyers are carrying a lot of lies. They have a lot of stuff. 
they're carried because yeah. they know how to, a lot of them are finagle to make a lot of money you got to defend a lot of pieces of are shit are you a defense or a prosecutor no so I worked uh, when I, I left uh, law school or I graduated I worked as a I was a prosecutor for okay. five years in Massachusetts not a lot of that money was in that. not a lot of money but it was I look back now it was definitely the best job I've ever had so stressful if there were part like dude this is embarrassing but like there were moments where I was like 11 p.m. still at the office like first year just like fucking crying in the office oh, yeah, being like this is horrible i gotta be in court tomorrow That's why a lot of them a lot of lawyers i know are, are addicted to blow yeah yeah any, any drug that keeps them Ew. up huh. and sane they love it dude i had no idea how many people did cocaine in until i went firm? to law school i went to law school i was like dude everybody does cocaine here i was yeah. like what the fuck this oh, is wow. crazy oh yeah it's, um but it's yeah a, it's yeah. a performance enhancement uh -huh. drug of choice for law students man yeah, that's, that's great insane. Yeah, yeah, I did that for a while, and that was great because, like, I was, cocaine? Uh, yeah, 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 cocaine. cocaine. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, for a while, it was. It was, it was stress, but that's where you see crazy shit, dude. I remember, like, I, I mean, I, I did mostly after being there a couple of years. I did mostly like the domestic violence stuff, like high risk domestic Ugh. violence, Ugh. which is brutal, dude. Yeah, cause, dude, the amount you know of families now, and that's fucked. Oh, dude, oh, the first time I talked to a victim who had a black eye, I was like, oh, this is. Rough. Dude. There's some real pieces of shit out there. Uh, oh, oh, big man. time, dude. Yeah, dude. Big time. Um, but I remember you would see crazy shit too. I mean, I remember uh, these two brothers used to come into the court and uh, they stopped bringing them into court because every time they would come in together, they would shit themselves and rub it, <laughs> rub it all over the cells. <laughs> dude, you got to bring Why? hazmat people in to like clean oh, yeah. those cells. Oh yeah. Wait. So, but it's only when they were together. Yeah, yeah, they would they would like come in on the same day and they would be like, it's go time. And then, dude, you would see the court officer come up and whisper to the judge and you'd be like, again, again. <laughs> you would think that that would take so much synchronization oh for God. that to be a regular occurrence. It's like that Walter White scene in Breaking Bad where everybody gets shanked at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the orchestration <laughs> that takes for them to not only shit at the same time, but to be arrested at the same time yeah. and end up in the same in Oh. oh my god dude we went we went on a tour so before we before like orientation being a prosecutor we took a tour of the house of corrections like the jail that was weird as fuck dude i remember like it's like 20 of us you know and they bring us in and the warden dude i left that jail being like jail seems pretty sweet actually oh, really? dude he was like we got a culinary program i just graduated law school i'm yeah. like dude i would love to be a chef actually <laughs> that would be pretty nice uh dude i remember though they took us into so they have like the cells you know where you're once you're sentenced but then they have the holding area yeah. Uh, for you know if you're like in jail big, that's the bigger yeah it's like an auditorium basically yeah. with the bunk beds and everything and I remember we went in there and it's just like we're all in suits like ready to work yeah. we walk in and he's like yeah so this is the holding area and I look over and it's just like dudes taking shits oh yeah like, open oh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like this is this is their home yeah. like I feel weird we were not invited in yeah, yeah, into right. their home you know this is bizarre <laughs> I, I mean I see Dylan see Del like hey Hey, don't. Hey, 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 where are the brothers? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> where are those shit brothers? Oh, they're shitting, obviously. They're shitting. <laughs> Always shitting. So why why stand up? Just because like you've always wanted to do it and yeah, that's how it started, right? Yeah. Like most people, I bet is I it was on my like list of like I I feel like I always wanted to do it, you know. Yeah. I remember I did like senior year of high school. We had to do uh, we had to do, like public speaking. We had to do a speech, and everybody's like you know Abraham Lincoln, uh, you know whoever else, so other famous <laughs> people who gave good speeches, Martin Luther yeah, King, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Can't think of Hitler. one name, <laughs> Hitler. Uh, uh, all, all these great oratories, <laughs> Will <Dude>. Ferrell. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I did. I came in with. Uh, uh, I, I thought it would be fun. It's like public speaking. So I did uh, Who Shit on the Coats, uh, Dan Cook. And I just did that <laughs> the bit. bit. I did the bit uh, in front of the class. And I was like, oh, that was great. That was like so fun. And then I started law school and I, I always wanted to do stand up. And I was like, dude, if I can talk about the law in front of 100 people, I can like make people laugh. Sure. I'm sure I could get yeah. on stage at a bar. And that's what happened. And then I just got hooked. You so know, you got you started getting up in Boston. Yeah. Yeah. And I was there for five years and then moved here. What's your biggest comedy accomplishment that you've done where you had to go to a job the next day? 
biggest comedy accomplishment. Yeah, like we've had people I mean, that like go do Letterman spot, and then dude. have to go to their <laughs> factory <laughs> job. I got a fucking. I know I've gone to the job. I did twelve minutes at a bar show last. Oh, what time? <laughs> Let me tell you this. One time I did a bar show, got paid in three drink tickets because I Not did so two. well, and uh, then I had to go to work the next day. Fuck that. I always uh, love that when the booker, like, if I, like, uh, every times I had the best set on the show, and he's like, hey, man, here's a. Is it extra? Is an extra? Is an extra? <laughs> you earned this. <laughs> you earned it. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, and you hold it up like. All for not. <laughs> it was all, all all worth it. Can I get this in a to go cup? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hon, I had the best set tonight. I got two extra drink tickets. I love that you're also like, you know, our other gusts have done Letterman. What have you done? And I'm like, oh, you know, thanks. I'm trying to give like a big example. Appreciate it. <laughs> What's the biggest comedy accomplishment you have? I'm I like, mean, I, I don't know. I, mean, I, I can do 15 uh, <laughs> at the Grizzly Pear if you need it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. And then I had a great day at work the next day, actually. So it's actually flipped. I guess uh, the worst one, what like. A, what about the best day of work, Yeah, yeah. My, my worst set. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude, we uh, we in Massachusetts. So when you're in Boston, like the New Hampshire, Portland, uh, certain Vermont, like there are other scenes, right? So you would go up and do like the up and back in the same night. Oh, yeah, and right. Vermont is brutal because it's three hours up, three yeah, hours back. Yeah, yeah. I remember doing one of those. It was like it was a place called the Skinny Pancake, and they did a show there. And it's a great place. It's great. Uh, but you know, I drove up there with this other comic. We drove up. Did the show? Did like eight minutes, you know, oh, for, for like oh, you know twenty people. Worst days yeah, ever. yeah, yeah. Shows over at ten, let ten thirty, whatever. We get in the car, we drive back, dude. I got home at like three a.m. and I had to be up at like six mm-hmm. to go to work. I mean, that was like, yeah, you know. I mean, at least it's your law job, and you're not going to fucking sit in the pine tree. And oh yeah, dude. The, oh, the, couldn't the do Latin it. guys. Couldn't do it. You. <laughs> I know. Get yelled I mean, at by some Long Island fucking yeah, lunatic. Yeah, some fucking rich. Get out of my trees. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. Brutal. Um, I just told I but yeah, you see crazy stuff. I just told this story uh earlier on our pod, but we uh I've done ride alongs too with like cops. Oh, oh. You, uh, when, well, you're, yeah, when you're a prosecutor, you have to do all like you need to know like what the cops are going through. Yeah. They walk you through it so you know when you're what what it means and how it feels to be through that, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. when you're trying to present a case, right? Yeah, yeah. So like that's the thing too. Like I've I got I've gotten real into those videos of like the auditors, the guys who like the audit police departments and stuff and like make sure they're yeah. behaving Follow correctly. The yeah. Because like the there's so many dudes guys. who are like, yeah, but no, like just YouTubers who will go on and just oh. stand. They'll just film in a police parking lot, which you're allowed to do, uh-huh. you know, and cops will come out and be like, what are you doing? Can I help you? And then they're like, y- y- you can't film. And you're like, no, I can, yeah. dude. It's the public. It's yeah. owned by the taxpayers. Yeah. And the cops just get so oh, mad. They're mad. Dude. They, they, they get hate furious. you know your rights. They yeah. hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and that. But yeah, I remember we did a ride along once with like these drug detectives, which was so fun, dude. It was so cool. And these dudes would like, you know, we we me and my friend, we go on the cars, and they're like, hey, we want to get some action for you. You know, we want to make this worth it. Yeah. So what they do, right? The drug detectives, a lot of time, they're creating crime to stop crime. Sure. So they use CIs, and then they try to set up buys and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we went. Nothing is biting. Nothing. They can't get anybody to do a buy. Uh, no one's getting back. So then we're driving around like the city, and one of the cops is like, "Hey, oh, oh!" Sees a girl walking. He's like, y- "Is she working? You think she's working?" Oh. And dude, one of the cops just jumps out of the car, walks up to her, and it was like they have a conversation. They start walking the other way, and then the signal he like puts his cap on or whatever. Yeah. Dude, like five cars oh. just pull oh, over. That's kind dude. of a bummer, huh? Dude. Oh, it was when so it, fucked. Oh, it was, oh, I think man. about it now. That's so dumb, uh, dude. Who, what, who's prostitution hurting? No, no one. No one. No one. Ah, oh, man. No one. Why are so they wait, doing that? Did they put her in a car with you? No, no, dude. <laughs> when she was, I was sitting in the car and she was like right next to me. Like, and it's uh, tinted windows with the windows cracked yeah. so I can hear. And she's like, we're friends. We're just going to his house to hang out for Hell a little yeah. bit. He's my friend. And then she doesn't know that that guy's a cop. Sure. Undercover. Yeah, yeah. So the cop's like, all right, let me, let me. Talk to him. Let's say she's like, we're friends. Tell him we're friends. And then the detective just turns back. He goes, Woof. apparently you guys aren't as close as you think. Yeah. And oh, it was fucked. Shit. I that think sucks, about it now. Dude. And I'm like, that sucks. That's, dude, that would bum me out. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. You know that person's doing it because they probably have a drug problem. Yeah. And or someone's like forcing them to do it or manipulating them to do it. Yeah. Some like pimp. 
all in all, her, you're did like, you get her number. Yeah, yeah I know, right. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> you're looking her her card. I'd love to save yeah. you, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I'm sure it got dismissed. To be honest, like I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it got thrown out like, yeah, yeah, right yeah. away. You know, Dylan <laughs> Krasinski Esquire <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, lo- knows how to learn. <laughs> <laughs> like, knows how to learn. <laughs> Dude, you know what? You got It's a great slogan. <laughs> yeah. He's like dating her. <laughs> yeah, we went out for Dude, I had a story. I had one. I had one. I was prosecuting this this girl for uh it was something she like fought an old lady over like this at a dog park or something. Oh. And she had some weird thing going on, like mental health, whatever. And I was on the case for a little bit and then I transferred. I got sent to another court, which was pretty common you know we mm. moved around a lot dude i was i think i was on vacation and i get a message on facebook being like oh hey didn't see you in court today what happened or something and like smiley face and i'm like who the fuck is this yeah. who is this and i'm like sent it to like people like friends of mine i'm like do you know who this is and then i put it together it was the defendant this chick who was like messaging me dude i immediately i sent yeah. him my supervisor and i'm like bona fide dude. dude what the hell dude can i, can I go cute, through with but this she was it's crazy yeah but that's what's hot about it i know 100 <laughs> percent. would you lose your bar uh yeah, thing you if, get you, if you banged i mean uh, probably <laughs> you get t barred by her. yeah dude i don't know what the rules are in like. boston i mean it's massachusetts defense attorneys uh i'm a worker yeah I'm a worker. I know how to work. I'm, I'm a worker. <laughs> yeah, that's such a conflict of your fucking like, oh, not even the defense of like you're fucking your client. That's a huge conflict, you know. I got fr- you might have sleeping with the defendant. Hey, you're no longer attached to the case. Right? Oh, I love. I'm gonna start using that term. Crazy. Disbarred. Disbarred. In, just in wrong, disbarred. In the wrong, yeah, disbarred. In the wrong, yeah. In the oh, wrong context. Hey, you get up at uh, the tiny cupboard? Nah, but disbarred. disbarred. <laughs> <laughs> they disbarred me. Oh, my God. Now all these are coming back to me. I had a. Uh, <laughs> I got disbarred. Disbarred. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just forgot it. I had another one. But yeah, that was cra- That was wild. I was just like, what the fuck is this, dude? She was like hitting on me. And my boss was like, yeah, we're just going to take you off that case. You're not going <laughs> to handle that and put a conflict oh, on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> People get conflict. Oh, this is what I had. I, I remember I prepped. Uh, I was a small court prepping trials. And uh, there was like, you know, you prep like six, seven trials. Much Most of them aren't going to go. But there was one I was like, oh, this is like a it's like a fight bar fight or something like okay. that. I was like, oh, this will this will probably go most likely. And uh, I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the name. I don't recognize it. And uh, this kid walks in and I'm like, I recognize him. I'm like. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing? And I look, I'm like, fuck, this kid is the defendant. And he j- he was a comic. And oh. he used Yeah. And he just used like a different stage name, you know? And I was like, I put it together, I was like, oh, oh I'm about to bury you. Fuck dude. me, dude. Oh. And then we had to like go up to the judge and be like, we you know, I I didn't realize that I knew this guy until he walked in. It's a different name than I know him by. And I was like praying. I was like, please do not tell this judge we know each other through stand up. Yeah, like, just, please, uh, just oh, shut yeah, up. Please yeah. don't say that, dude. Be a good criminal and don't say <laughs> anything. And then the defense attorney was like, stand up. Hey, I'm like, shut the fuck uh, up. Shut the fuck up, dude. That just goes ripping around the fucking uh, circuit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man, if I was trying to try a case against you, uh, I'd be, I would throw that in no. all the time. I would call, yeah, we call oh, him Dane God, Cook. I would, just do, uh, yeah. I would do it to just like, Cut you down to size, just like. So <laughs> yeah, I know the prosecution thinks they're funny, <laughs> but the defense. Oh, the night in question, did you say waka waka waka? <laughs> Dude, we're having a lot of fun here, Your Honor. <laughs> the prosecution thinks this is a, a good time. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, oh, yeah. dude. People found out in my office I did stand up when oh, I was an intern. Oh, that bro. was terrible. That's that was so horrible. Lawyer too, you need all of that credibility going yeah. into that courtroom. You yeah. Just, right away, you're. Labeled so an ass wipe. Did the ju- has a judge ever called you out on it? Uh, no, none of the judges know. I kept it pretty close to the vest. All my friends knew. Yeah. A lot of defense attorneys knew who I was close with. But, but uh, you don't practice now. I do. I do. Oh, yeah, not shit. in criminal. I do entertainment law now, actually. Wow. So it's oh, just like work right. for a buddy's firm, and we yeah, do like dude. trademarks and 
You know? oh, Hell yeah. Oh, nice. That kind nice, of stuff. nice. Con- contracts. What a great and, uh-huh. thing to have. It's great. I, I thought I, I thought it would great. be great working. I was like, oh, I mean, the, you know, so many comedians on though. Yeah, comedians need work done. They never want to pay. Yeah, I know. And I'm like, uh, uh, oh, so yeah. many times I could yeah, be yeah. like, well, this is what it costs. And uh, yeah. sorry, it's my boss that <laughs> does the pricing. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? Um, what's next? The, the, the podcast is going well. I know you've been on it, right? Uh, yeah, we got to get you on it, dude. Podcast great, is great, man. So, what's, so Troublemakers, is it about like shit like you're talking about now? Or? Yeah, we just say it's comics come on and tell their craziest stories. Okay. So it's a lot of like, Drugs, drinking, uh, arrests, fights, all kinds of stuff. stuff. But it's very, you know, we just kind of chat and like, you know, yeah. bullshit and awesome and stories come yeah, out. Yeah, the clips are great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, dude. that's really cool. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you and Ray, uh, really good uh, team. Yeah, yeah I appreciate really that. Good. You guys yeah. are great too, dude. Oh, this thanks, is, man. You know, I, I carry the load here. You know, Ed just shows up. <laughs> yeah, I just hashtag. Oh, I felt it. <laughs> I felt it. I felt it. I felt it. Ed just wears blackface when he sets the cameras up. Then he has to watch it off. Well, you get dude, it was here. crazy. I didn't even recognize you when I came in. I was like, oh, call the police. Your Honor, I thought I didn't know I knew this guy. He's usually in blackface. I can't, I can't prosecute him. <laughs> that is nuts. At least he's not a comedian. I mean, <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> Dylan, plug where you're at. Uh, you can find me at Dylan Krasinski on Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, TikTok, and then uh, Troublemakers. We put episodes out every Wednesday, and uh, at Troublemakers on all those sites, we post a lot of clips and uh, from the pod a few times a week. Awesome. So yeah, uh, at Josh Ricardo, joshricardo.com for all tour dates. Go ahead. Ed. Follow me on Instagram at EdMcGowanComedy. Go to EdMcGowan.com to see all my dates. Email us Email if you're us. a lawyer. If you've ever uh, prosecuted you know, a, f- yeah. a friend <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. from you an ever, open mic, you ever, yeah. you ever worn blackface? Send us a note. <laughs> it's uh, workingclasscomedians at gmail.com. We'll see you guys again next week. See you later. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.